So, I've got something here that you've probably never seen before. Are you familiar with geek subscription boxes? No. Well, come on over, Adventure Time. We I have for you geek three geek subscription boxes. What you're looking at are the venerable loot crate, the, the oldest and the most famous of the lot, the not great booty bin. Honestly, it deserved exactly that. And the brand new nerd block. Now, I've broken these down by price, and we'll show you what's inside them. Because it's all spilled out, let's start with Booty Bin. The purpose of something like this is supposed to be to bring you a whole bunch of really cool stuff that you, you know, that, like any other subscription box, shows up in your mailbox, and you mm -hmm. feel like, yay, it's Christmas. Booty Bin costs $30, including shipping, and I'm including shipping cost on everything, and you get $25 worth of mostly crap. You got this time a random Star Wars deck, a advertisement that is supposed to be sci-fi, some astronaut ice cream. Really? Astronaut ice cream. Um, a an star old Star Trek toy. An old Star Trek toy. Sticker? A cup, two stickers. Ooh, I like stickers. And a couple of mechs that they actually put into plastic baggies. That's when they didn't even bother with the plastic baggie. You can tell, looking at the quality of this stuff, that they actually just went to a Toys R Us and looked through the clearance aisle to put it all together. That's what oh. I think of Booty Ben. Definitely. Now let's take a look at the grown-ups. <laughs> We'll start over here with these two. It's a hard competition, to be honest with you, between Loot Crate and Booty Bin this month because they're both really, you really mean good. Nerd Block. Nerd Block. Oh. We're not re relating this to Booty Bin. I apologize. It's a brand new one with a new name. So over here at the wonder that is um, Loot Crate. That is Loot Crate. First off, I this month they got you. Both of them gave you a t shirt. This month you got an E Walking Dead t shirt, which I think is awesome. Okay. Go for it. You got a nice bloody candy eye. That's cute. You got some, some themed buttons, some themed stickers. You always get a sticker. You always get lots of filler. You always get lots of filler. I really liked the actual card in this one. And, and this was the surprise. Total surprise. An entire book. <gasps> Zombie Survival Guide by Max Brooks. Lots of people already have it, but it's really good. The total value for everything in here is about $35 if you were to buy it all retail. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it actually costs, including shipping, about nineteen fifty. That's a pretty good deal for the box, and I honestly feel like it's really well curated. Everything was zombie related. Everything's high quality stuff. I don't feel like I could have got any of, like I could have just wandered into a Toys R Us and picked it all up. Can I eat this? No, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, <I tried>. over <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, over here at Nerd Block, this is the new kid. They clearly are trying to compete with Loot Crate instead of with Booty Bin. You actually get another t-shirt, and it's another Star Wars theme because they know nerds, if you would like. In addition to the t-shirt, you got a portal sentry turret, a DC minifig, a spawn minifig, an adorable Marvel eraser. I, like I got Deadpool, which makes me very happy inside. This is cute. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle coaster, and an Adventure Time puzzle game. Appropriate for him. <laughs> now, this is actually a really good collection of stuff. And if you add it all up retail-wise, this is actually about $60 total worth of stuff um, it, for about a $30, including shipping on it. So the real question is, do you want to spend $20 for the Loot Crate or $30 for the Nerd Block? Because either way, you're going to be getting some pretty good stuff. Is that a month? I am entirely surprised by the Nerd Block. I'm pleasantly surprised by it. I'm glad to see that they're providing real competition, because mm -hmm. Booty Bin was not real competition for, uh, for Loot Crate. Now, I don't know if I would spend $50 a month to get both of them, because that's 50 bucks a month, and I can go buy a real thing instead of getting, you know, essentially a stocking in the mail. Yeah. It's up to you whether you think 20 or 30 is more in, in your speed. I personally feel that if you're looking for something that's thematic, definitely stick with Loot Crate. Every single month they've got a theme. They do a really good job of making sure that everything fits together nicely. It just feels well curated, you know? It is. On the other hand, with the, with the Nerd Block, if you just want more stuff and you want that stuff to be a little bit more expensive, then they're just, this is a really good launch box. This is the very first one I've gotten from them. I'm pretty sure it's either their first or second box total ever. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad. Um, both of them this month really blew it out with the t-shirts, I've got to say. Um, the book, I was very impressed with that. And because I like Portal, I really like this. I mean, this is a little bit more random, but it's still all really good stuff. I am not disappointed with either of these. Do you have a preference looking at them that you can see? 
I really, I just love Loot Crate. I love the way they theme everything. This was fun, but it's random. Mm -hmm. But I like the theme because it's kind of like a, a, a nice little deal every month. Yeah. I like and I've never been let down. <laughs> I like the t-shirts with both of them. I, I agree with you that I've never been let down, but I've got to say, Nerdblock is coming out of the gate strong. And they've got, they are the first I'd see real competition that I've seen for, for Loot Crate. Definitely, I think we'll be sticking with Loot Crate uh, myself. Um, I'm torn. I really am. I'm very, very curious what they're going to do next month with, uh, with Nerdblock. Probably another t-shirt. It'll be well, fun to watch and, and see. Yeah. So if you are curious about uh, any of these, you can see I'm going to break down all the details over at Kitchen Overlord and Oslim.com so you can see exactly what's inside of them and what, it break, uh, what the price was breakdown-wise. So check it out there for more details, and then there'll be photos of everything that was in the boxes as well. <laughs>